Learn fiber optics with Senco. The MPO connector has been a product that was introduced in the 90s, so what's new? MPOs are very commonly used in data centers. Very, very large data centers where network engineers work daily to plan intricate and complicated networks that require hundreds, if not thousands, of connection points using a variety of connectors. Consider information that is constantly being sent along separate fiber optic cables meant for specific destinations. Maybe you are trying to stream your favorite TV show to your house. In the case of the MPO, there are multiple fiber paths in this one densely packed connector. If something is routed incorrectly, this would result in the signal not reaching the correct final destination. So instead of finally catching up on your show, you see the signal buffering and buffering and buffering. This could be due to something called incorrect polarity. Polarity can be thought of as the mapping or routing of the signals in a network. In the olden days, Yes, the 90s are considered the olden days in fiber optics. If the polarity was incorrect at the connector, this would require the replacement of an entire cable assembly. This could even mean thousands of returns and reworks leading to costly delays. To replace the cable assemblies was not only costly, but in certain instances not even possible, not to mention all of the frustrated customers missing their favorite series. This got connector engineers thinking and planning. How can we address this issue in the field from a connector level? And voila, the polarity swappable MPO connectors and adapters were invented. This technology allows installers to change the polarity of their MPO connector in a couple of easy steps. More recently, you had to use a special tool to open the connector housing in order to make a polarity change. But now, through even more clever design work, changing the polarity can be done without the need of tools. By performing an easy polarity change, the signal is now routed correctly and can reach the final destination. Polarity is not the only advancement in MPO connectors since they were first introduced. In some instances, MPO connectors can be configured correctly, yet still no signal is reaching its destination. Installers will use their test equipment to troubleshoot the links, only to find that everything seems to be fine up until a specific connection point. The signal can reach it from one direction and other directions, but the MPO connector is still not working. Looking at the end face closely, it is discovered that both connectors are missing the critical precision alignment pins. In those olden days, this would result in installers once again requiring to remove the cable assembly, order a new one, and install the new cable upon arrival. This would cause costly delays and frustration from all ends of the network installation and keep you from your show. Connector engineers made it their mission to make this easier because having MPO connectors with pins or no pins can be easily overlooked, especially in already existing interconnect infrastructure. With some trials and important design changes, the gender changeable MPO connector was created. This allows for connectors to have the pins removed or installed in the field without the use of complicated tools. These small but critical design changes have improved the progress of connecting the world with fiber optics, not only saving money and time, but also successfully completing the job. If you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it, subscribe to our channel to learn more with Senco.